All right, welcome everyone. Seeing the numbers coming up, people coming in. I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes. Hope you guys are having a great evening so far. Thanks for joining us. Let's see if I can see your guys' names. So strange, I can't see any of your faces, but I can see all of you coming into the room. <laughs> okay, good, I can see your names. Hi, Abby. Hi, Allison, Alyssa, got. Annie, we got an Anthony, we got a Chantel. Hi, everybody. Okay, just give it a couple more minutes. Okay. If you guys maybe want to throw into the chat like where you're coming from, I'd love to know if you're local, if you're coming out of state, I'd love for you to just like say hi, maybe where you're coming from. California, pretty local, says Angela. Love that. You are pretty local. That is pretty local. West Covina, awesome. Oh, someone just told me that the chat is disabled, which is a great note, thank you. So you guys utilize the Q&A pretty quickly. <laughs> someone from Ethiopia, incredible. Hi, Nathaniel. Torrance, awesome. Oh, might have the chat up and running as well. Oh, oh, good, now we have <laughs> chat and Q&A. Love that. San Jose, Oakland, awesome. I'm from Sacramento, Santa Cruz. I was just in Santa Cruz, so fun. Torrance. Hello again, Angela. <laughs> That's awesome. San Francisco, I love it. So fun, you guys. Washington. Cool. Oh, so fun. Hi, Kansas. That's incredible. Um, okay, yeah, keep them coming. I wanna see where you guys are coming from. So fun. Cool, Elk Grove, California. I don't know where that is. That's awesome. Um, okay, well, we've got about everybody. Um, yeah, that I think we've had signed up in here. So I think we might go ahead and get started on our presentation. But essentially, um, this event, this is our virtual preview event. So we just want to give you guys a good introduction and um yeah, just experience of kind of what APU is all about. So I'm going to kind of just give you guys a presentation of some things about APU um, and give you guys um, a little bit of space in the chat for you to ask questions as we're doing that. But um, yeah, just going to be giving you guys some general information about APU. And then we're going to have a section of this presentation for you guys to be able to start an application. And um, we're going to give you a code to waive your application fee, as well as your essay. So yeah, just going to give you guys space to get that started and show you kind of how to do that. But um, I think we're going to just get started on the presentation. But thank you so much for spending your evening with us to do this. I hope it is helpful. I hope it um, yeah, gives you just a little glimpse of what APU is like. So um, if Lauren, um, if you want to get the presentation going, I'll get started. Awesome. Okay. So um, this is just our introduction slide. I love this slide though, um, because it has our um, welcome weekend clips in the background. And as you can see, we love welcome weekend at APU. It is the introduction 
weekend um, right before students start classes and we have so many fun events. Um, we all have all of our students participate in something called an alpha group. So you're paired with an alpha group leader, which is an upperclassman student and as well as first time freshmen. And you guys kind of walk through the year together as first time students and get to, um, yeah, just enter into that year together and your alpha group leader really supports you um, just to transition well into college. So anyway, and there's just, yeah, it's such a blast. Welcome weekend. So anyway, um, you can go to the first slide. So to start, I'm going to talk about, Jacqueline said that's awesome. Thank you, Jacqueline. Um, so we're going to start with just a little bit of our history. Now, um, I don't know about you guys, but I really love history. So this could potentially be a boring slide for some of you, but I think it's so cool to kind of know where institutions come from and where they start. So um, APU was actually founded by a woman, Mary Hill. She founded APU in 1899. And I just think that is so awesome as a woman to know that my university was founded by a woman. Um, and it was started as a training school for Christian workers. So that's how it started. Um, and then we uh, moved from uh, Whittier to uh, Azusa in 1946. And so that is when we planted our location in Azusa. And then in 1981, we merged APU's now an official university. And then in 2021, uh, we're in 2022 now, <laughs> um, right? We're in 2022. Um, I kind of got confused there for sure. I'm like, we are in 2022, right? Um, you guys are visiting us virtually in this moment. Um, so that is just a little bit about our history. So we can go on to the next slide. Um, yeah, a lot of things have changed over the course of about 100 years, as you can imagine. But um, one thing that has not changed is our God first motto. So our God first motto is really just um, the sentiment of God being at the center of everything we do at APU. So we are a Christian university and we really believe putting God and Christ at the center of everything our, we do, so our education, our athletic, our athleticness, <laughs> our athleticness, our athletes. Um, yeah, God is at the center of everything that we do. Um, with that, um, we can go to the, the next slide. Um, these are our cornerstones. So Christ, again, is our first uh, cornerstone. These are kind of our core values at APU. And um, want to kind of um, explain a couple of just things about our cornerstone. So first being that um, while we are Christian University, um, our students are not required to sign a statement of faith to come to APU. So reason being, we want our students to come with their questions come from whatever background they're coming from, faith background, um, family background, where um, different states, you know, we want all of our students to come with whatever they um, are caring and be able to discuss that with their fellow students and with their faculty um, and be stretched and grown in all of those things. So our students are not required to sign a statement of faith. Our staff and faculty are required to sign a statement of faith. Um, students are also required to participate in chapel three times a week and you'll complete six Bible courses by the time that you graduate as a student at APU. Um, you'll also complete 120 service hours. Um, by the time that you graduate. So those are a couple of the ways that we integrate that Christ cornerstone at APU um, while also inviting, yeah, all of our students to kind of come with whatever background um, they're coming with. So um, along with that, uh, scholarship is one of our cornerstones. So we are an R2 doctoral university, which is kind of just a fancy way of saying that we conduct a really high level of research at APU. So why is that cool? So if you are somebody that one just loves research and or wants to maybe go into um, grad school when you graduate from undergrad, maybe you want to go to medical school, maybe you um, want to go get your, um, you know, doctorate in psychology, something like that. Um, undergraduate students have access to research at an undergraduate level, which is kind of unheard of um, in most universities. And so you'll be able to um, potentially have your name printed on research, um, which is just a really, really cool thing. So we just have kind of a prestigious level of research being conducted at APU. And since we're a smaller university, um, you're going to have access to that research in a way that you 
might not at a big university. So um, kind of cool. A um, couple other things about scholarship. Um, we have 80% of our uh, pre-med students get into their first choice of medical school, um, which I think is just really awesome. Um, and yeah, we just really, really care about scholarship at EPU. Um, you're going to see some of the majors that we offer, and hopefully you see the one that you are interested in. But yeah, really, really care about scholarship at EPU and helping you to succeed academically um, and pursue what you yeah are dreaming of. So um, along with that, we have our service cornerstone. You may have seen uh, billboards as you're driving on the freeway. Um, if you live in this area, you definitely have. Um, and you may see that we're cultivating difference makers at APU. So um, we really care about sending our students out into the community to be difference makers and um, to serve. And as obviously as Christ followers, we really believe in that. Um, but we really just, yeah, want our students to be sent out into the world in whatever profession they are as servant uh, hearted people. So um, like I said, you'll complete 120 service hours by the time that you graduate at APU. Um, there are a lot of different ways to complete that. We actually have a office dedicated completely to service on campus. It's called Center for Student Action. So um, you might be able to go on an action team to um, a different country, or you might be able to participate in service opportunities locally in Los Angeles or in Azusa. Um, and so there'll be a lot of opportunities for you to serve at APU. Um, and we are really hoping to cultivate that um, in our community and our students, um, which leads me into our, our other Cornerstone community. So um, I think this is probably the most special thing about APU. And it's ultimately the reason I chose to keep, come to APU. Um, the moment I honestly stepped foot on APU's campus. I came from Washington State. Um, so I was visiting with my mom and I just immediately felt something different about APU in the way that they really cared about me and my story and where I was coming from. And they really gave me the sense that I was going to belong at APU, no matter where I was coming from, um, that there was going to be a place and a desire for me to belong. Um, and there are just a lot of different ways we integrate that um, I mentioned the alpha group earlier. We also have discipleship groups where students can meet with fellow students and discuss Bible or a book, that kind of a thing. Um, and we also, yeah, just really live out community in the way that our faculty interacts with students. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys get to step foot on our campus and take a tour and see what I'm talking about. But um, community is so, so important at APU and we want all of you to, to find a place to belong. So um, with that, I'll have us go to our next slide. Um, so you may have seen um, or heard of some of our other campuses, just kind of want to point that out. It sounds like a lot of you are local, um, but Azusa is the campus you guys would be going to. So these other regional campuses are primarily for grad students. Um, we have a lot of grad students at APU, which is really cool, um, but you guys would be going to Azusa. For those of you that are out of state, um, just to kind of give you reference of where Azusa is, we're about um, an hour from the beach, we're about like 30 minutes from Disneyland, you know, those are the most important things to know. Um, we've got um, a metro nearby you can take to LA. Um, and so pretty close by as well. So that's kind of where we are located Southern California wise, but um, just wanted to kind of give you guys that reference. So you can go to the next slide. All right, just to give you guys some numbers. So we have about 9,000 um, students total, both grad and undergrad. Um, we've got about 4,500 grad students, 3,500 undergrad. So like I was saying, we do have quite a, quite a few grad students. Our grad program has grown over the last couple of years. Um, we are a mid-sized school. So um, I like this number because we're, I think we're not too big, we're not too small. You're gonna be, um, really getting to know the students that you're with, but you're not going to be like elbow to elbow with them constantly. So I think we're a pretty good balance of, um, of size. So um, just something to note. And then 19 students is our average class size. So um, this is really important because um, you can go to the next one as well, our 12 to one student to faculty ratio. Um, this is really important because you guys are going to be in classrooms where your professors are going to know your name and they're going to know what you're good at. Um, they're going to be able to hear your voice and hear your questions. And um, you're not going to just be, um, you know, another number um, in their room. You're going to be someone that they know. And um, 
they may have access to like internships that they're like, I really think Angela would be good for this internship. I'm going to, you know, recommend her um, because I know she uh, was really good in my such and such class. So um, really just such a profound way to build relationships and to network. Um, but also your professors are going to want to invest in you um, even more so because of just the access that they have to you. So um, kind of a cool thing. And then we are also an NCAA D2 school. So we have 17 um, NCAA D2 sports. So we've got things like soccer and baseball, and we've got basketball, uh, swimming, all that good stuff, acro tumbling. Um, so a lot of cool sports happening at APU. We also have intramural teams. So if you're somebody that's like, I think I want to just kind of keep playing sports um, just for fun, we also have um, ways for you to do that as well. Okay, so here are some of the majors. Um, would love to see um, in the chat, like kind of some of the majors you guys are maybe interested in studying. If you guys wanna just throw that up there, would be fun for me to see. Um, but these are our majors. So um, awesome, nursing, criminal justice, nursing. We're gonna talk about nursing um, in a minute. So um, poli sci, love it. You guys are so great at answering my questions. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, awesome. So as you can see, we've got a lot of different majors. So um, depending on what you are interested in, um, would love to connect you with, you know, your admissions representative. If you don't see what you are potentially looking for, we'd love to connect with you and see maybe something that would match well um, and or just kind of help you maybe navigate what you're interested in studying. If you're maybe somebody that's like, I have no idea, um, you are in the right place. Um, we have something called exploring at APU. So um, we call it exploring, not undeclared, because we really want students to know like, hey, it is vital um, to explore while you're in college, to figure out what you are passionate about, what you're good at, and um, have time to take classes to figure that out. So if you're an exploring major, you might get to take a psychology class as well as a business class, um, something like that, and then kind of see, oh, I actually really like um, math more than I thought, so maybe I'm going to study math. So um, that kind of a thing. But we also, yeah, offer a lot of different, um, yeah, just a lot of different majors. So I'm seeing lots of cool ones that you guys are throwing up. That's so awesome. Um, okay, I think we'll, we'll go to the next slide. Okay. So um, kind of already talked about the R2 doctoral university. So um, just, yeah, awesome kind of prestigious thing that we have. Uh, we are also voted number one for our first year experience. Um, and I kind of touched on some of our alpha group things, our welcome weekend. Um, but we really just want our students to transition well their first year of college. We recognize that uh, your first year of college is going to feel just like a big shift, a big transition. You guys are in um, about to embark on something totally new. And so we want you guys to, again, belong. We want you to feel safe here. We want you to have fun your first year. And so, um, we have been recognized for doing that really well. And I can say firsthand, um, that I experienced that. So, um, that is pretty cool. Um, we were also voted top 25 universities according to alumni. And I think this is important because for alumni to be able to now, a couple of years passed after spending money to come to our university, investing their time, their resources, for them to be able to say, yeah, if he was worth it, um, is pretty um, is a pretty big deal. So I think that's an awesome statistic. And then I said we were going to talk about nursing. So we are voted number one for nursing in the state of California uh, and number eight in the country. So we are really well known for our nursing program. Um, we are direct entry program. So for any students that are interested in studying nursing, um, it is a direct entry program. So you're going to want to apply for our nursing program by November 15th. Um, and there's going to be a couple of extra um, supplemental pieces to your application. Um, and you will be um, integrated right into the nursing program. So if you get in, you'll be in all four years. You'll be doing clinicals all four years. Um, we partner with some really awesome local hospitals 
Um, and we are just known really, really well um, for our nursing program. So if you are interested in the nursing program, please connect with your admissions representative. We'd love to help you um, navigate how to apply for that and um, would love to support you to, to achieve that. So. Okay, so we are gonna do this in a bit, but you can kind of see a little snapshot of what our application looks like. So um, this is what it's gonna look like, but we're gonna go over that a little bit um, more detail later. So we just go to the next slide. Awesome, okay, so application requirements. So we require a 2.5 weighted GPA um, to be accepted at APU. If you have under a 2.5 GPA, please um, reach out to us. We'd love to figure out um, you know, what's going on. Maybe we can see if we can get your grades up your, um, your senior year. Um, please reach out to us. We would love to see um, yeah, what's going on and if we can support you in any way. Um, you'll also write a personal statement, but we're gonna waive that for you guys tonight. So um, good work coming here. Um, we are test optional. We're actually fully test blind. So, um, kind of, kind of cool. If you have already opted to take the SATs, that's awesome. You can still submit those scores to us and they might be able to, um, help you, uh, fulfill, a uh, math and or science requirement. So, um, let us know about those SAT scores. We'd love to see them and just to celebrate your scores. <laughs> um, and then this is the code that you're going to use to waive your application fee today, as well as your, um, your essay is this term, uh, community. Okay. So we're going to the next slide. Um, okay. hundred percent. This is my favorite slide on this presentation. Um, one, because it's simple, it's clean, it looks nice. No, but um, I love this slide because this represents that 100% of our students receive some form of financial aid. So um, all of our students receive a merit-based scholarship based off their GPA. So we can um, go to the next slide. Um, yeah, so these are um, what our scholarships look um, for the previous year. They um, may fluctuate this year depending on um, a couple of things. So um, when your admissions representative calls you with um, information, admissions decisions, things like that, um, they're not going to be able to give you your scholarship um, amount right now, um, but we will very, very soon. So, um, but this is probably kind of within the, the framework that they're going to be looking like for the upcoming year. Um, and these are all, again, based solely on your GPA. So this isn't something extra you need to apply for. Um, it's just going to be something that you receive based off of the transcript that you submit. We also have a couple other scholarships. So this is our trustee scholarship. If you are somebody with a 3.9 GPA or higher, um, and maybe you um, have demonstrated some school or community related activities, we would love for you to apply for a trustee scholarship. This is a full tuition scholarship that we give out to about six to seven students each year. Um, and yeah, we'd love for you to apply for that. If you want more information on that, please contact your admissions representative, but it's gonna have a couple of other pieces to that application. And it's also gonna be due by November 15th. Some other scholarships that we um, offer are going to be some athletic scholarships, and uh, depending on what sport you're playing, um, we have something called a multi-ethnic leadership scholarship. So if you are somebody that is passionate about diversity and equity and want to participate in fostering that conversation on our campus and ensuring those things on our campus, we would love for you to apply for this scholarship. Um, you would be a part of the multi-ethnic ethnic leadership um, coalition um, and would get to um, work with um, other students on campus to um, ensure those things. So we would love for you to apply to that. We also sometimes have some program specific scholarships. So if you're somebody that's applying for the College of the Arts, School of Music, there's also some even accounting scholarships. So um, good to inquire about whatever you're um, applying for. Um, sometimes some odd end scholarships do come up for specific programs. Um, so just, yeah, ask your admissions representative about that. FAFSA. So uh, we want all of you guys to complete your FAFSA. Um, it's actually required of all of our students to complete the FAFSA. It's free application for federal student aid. It's going to open up in October and um, toward end of October. So be on the lookout for getting that done as soon as it opens. 
um, the sooner the better. So the um, sooner you get that FAFSA done, the sooner we can have a financial aid meeting with you. So actually all of our admissions representatives are trained in financial aid. And so we love having these conversations with you and your families, um, getting to walk through what you guys are specifically receiving from APU, the institution, as well as state and federal aid. So um, we are able to just kind of walk with you guys through that. Um, just something to note, I know probably some uh, parents are also in um, this this uh, Zoom meeting as well. Um, we never, ever, ever um, want to like manipulate our families or students to take out tons of loans to come to APU. Um, we want all of our students and families to be financially healthy. Um, and so that is the goal of our financial aid meetings is to really um, give you guys resources and hopefully help um, make what's kind of a complicated process, um, uh, hopefully a little simpler um, and just give you guys a space to ask questions about um, what APU can look like for you to be able to afford that. So um, FAFSA is a key, key part of that. It's 100% free. Hopefully you know that opens October 1st. Um, and yeah, again, required for things like the Pell Grant, the Cal Grant, as well as um, an APU grant. And it's also gonna tell you what you qualify for in federal loans. Okay, so a couple of deadlines coming up. So um, November 15th is our early, uh, sorry, 15th is our early action deadline. So all this means is that um, you're gonna find out earlier whether you've been accepted to APU or not. This is different than early decision, which maybe you guys have heard of. Early decision means you apply, you're committed, um, that is not what early action means. So early action is just really you knowing earlier that you are coming to APU. You'll know by Christmas what school you're going to. And that's just kind of fun. Um, or potentially Thanksgiving, I guess. So um, it's also the deadline for our trustees application as well as our nursing application, which I mentioned before. Um, and if you are not sure if you wanna wait, but hopefully all of you guys get your applications um, started and done you know, tonight, but um, February 15th is our regular application deadline. So that is our general application deadline. And then May 1st is gonna be our deposit deadline. So that's gonna be the day that we hopefully hear that official decision from you that you're coming to APU. Um, and so those are our, our deadlines. I think that completes our presentation. Awesome. Um, okay, so want to get you guys started on an application. Let me see if I can read some of, through some of these questions you guys have put in the chat before we get started on that. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I heard somebody say, um, how do we get in touch with our admissions officer? That is a great question. So once you guys start an application tonight, you're going to be assigned an admissions representative um, correlated with the territory that you live in and the school that you um, go to. So um, once you get that application going um, and hopefully submitted, you're going to find out who your admissions representative is. They're going to contact you. Um, but of course, you can reach out just to our general admissions office and they can point you in the right direction as well. So. Um, great question. Um, I have somebody answered, it depends on the high school you're going to, great. Um, blah, 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 just completed mine today. Great work, Jayla. Um, when you say the essay gets waived, what do you mean by that? Do we have to write essay to apply? Yeah, so we are just waiving that for you tonight. So um, since you guys came to the, this event, it's just kind of our way of saying thanks for coming. And um, we would yeah, just love for you to complete that application. Um, who would I talk to? Uh, yes, awesome, great question, Annie. So yeah, um, if you are somebody maybe with a lower GPA below a 2.5, um, yeah, I'm just gonna throw up my email, put it in the chat for you guys to all, you can all have access to. Um, you can feel free to reach out to me specifically and I'd love to, to chat with you about that. Um, what does it mean to have our essays waived? So you are just gonna put the word community in your essay portion. So we're gonna get that um, on your guys' application. Um, it's gonna say personal statement and we're just gonna have you guys write community instead of an essay. Um, no, it will not negatively impact your application. Great question. No, yeah, since you guys are here at this event, again, just our way of saying thank you. So, um, Yes, good question. So if you were to like start your application and um, wanted to finish it later. Yeah, so um, that code will still work. Um, we would um, 
yeah, we probably won't all get our applications done in this event, um, but hopefully all of our applicants just get started. And so um, it, you guys can put those waiver codes in and they will apply um, up to the point on which you uh, finish the application. Um, how will you see? Uh, is this a essay or how they, they get to know us? Yeah. If you guys already did the essay, um, that's great. Um, also, if you guys would like to write the essay, you absolutely can. Um, it's, again, not going to negatively negatively impact your um, application whatsoever. Um, I love these questions. You guys are great students. You're like, what if I, you know, how are they going to get to know me if I don't write an essay, which is such a great valid question. Um, if you would like to um, start your application and then go back in and, and write your essay later, we would love to read your essay. Um, but yeah, not going to neg negatively impact your application whatsoever. So um, totally up to you. Um, I think with that, we're going to get the application started. So um, let's maybe pull that up. You do, you will, I saw that question, Nina, you will still need to do your nursing essay. Good question. And hopefully, um, hopefully as we get this done, um, as we open it up, it'll kind of answer some of these, some of these questions. Yeah, and I'm seeing, I'm seeing a couple of questions about um, things like nursing, things like film. So this is our general application. So we are going to kind of walk you through just briefly how to get your general application started. Um, and as we're doing it, you guys can also be opening up a window and starting that application. For students that are applying for something like nursing um, and or you know film, animation, something like that, there are going to be other supplemental pieces to that application, as well as like applying for something like trustee scholarship. So um, we're going to get your guys' hopefully general application done tonight. And then for students that need to complete those supplemental pieces, you guys can go ahead and complete that a little bit later. So um, you won't be hearing about those decisions um, within the next couple of days, um, but you will be um, getting that general application done. Okay. So let's begin. Okay, so you're going to get to ap.edu slash undergraduate admission slash apply, and you're going to start a new application. And you're just going to go ahead and put your first name. Lauren's putting hers. Hi, Lauren. Okay, you can go ahead and just put whatever email you want in that email address. Go ahead and submit that. Awesome. And then you get sent an email that you'll go ahead and open up and then it will give you um, the ability to make a new password, okay? Awesome. Reset the password. And then she's gonna put whatever. Are you guys the kind of people that have like a different password for everything or do you have the same password for everything? Let me know that in the chat. I want to know what kind of ways you do passwords. <laughs> same password. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You guys. Yep. We're a same password kind of crew. <laughs> I love that. Yep. You know, they don't recommend it, but I must say that that is the way that I operate with passwords as well. Okay, so we, um, awesome, are going to be applying as a freshman, and we're going to be applying for the fall 2023 program. So um, that is the year you guys are going to start at APU, so that is the, the year that you would choose, okay? Okay, so then this is gonna be just some basic general information. So, oh, we're gonna to get to see Lauren's birthday. How exciting. 
November 14th. Yeah, 2021, totally. <laughs> That's great. Um, awesome. And then, yep, put in your preferred phone number. Um, yeah, give us hopefully your phone number if you have one. Um, if you don't have a phone, feel free to give us your parents' phone number, whatever works best in terms of how we can contact you best. Then you're going to tell us the high school that you attended. Awesome. You can give us um, the month you're going to graduate. It's probably going to be May, maybe June. Um, and the year that that's going to be. Um, if you don't have a copy of your transcripts right now, that is completely fine. You can go ahead and skip that for now um, and send us your transcripts. But if you have an unofficial transcript PDF handy, go ahead and throw that in. That would be awesome. Um, okay. And for anybody who has completed college coursework, maybe you have completed an AP course um, and taken that test. Maybe you are doing something called dual enrollment in Washington. It's called running start. So um, yeah, if you um, are doing any of that stuff, go ahead and select yes. Okay, so these question. Transcript, yeah, transcript for all, all four years, yeah. Um, if you have, actually, we're just gonna be looking at 10 through 12, but usually transcripts will, will give the whole thing. So um, whatever, um, if you can get that weighted 10 through 12 unofficial transcript, that would be great. Uh, can you use parchment to transfer our transcript? Um, you can use parchment. I think parchment is um, just for official transcripts. Um, so I think you may be able to download an unofficial transcript from your, your high school website and or get that from your, your counselor. So whatever is easiest for you. For AP takers. Yeah, so um, let's see, current GPA. Awesome. Um, yeah, for the um, AP courses, you can just say that I have taken college and you can put your high school as the, the name of the school and kind of just put in the notes, like this is an AP course and we'll know what you're talking about. Um, and once we get your transcripts, we'll have that, that officially laid out. You've already completed the rest of the application. Where do we put the code? Good question. So you've already completed your application, Amanda. Um, yes, but I've not turned it in. Okay. I think if you haven't turned it in, you may be able to still go back and put that, that waiver code in. If not, just go ahead and send me an email and, um, and I can kind of take care of that for you. You can just submit it. Can application later and use code? Um, yes, you definitely can complete the application later. That's completely fine. Um, weighted, we're going to want weighted GPA. Um, how do we have a transcript for 12th grade? Uh, if we haven't finished senior year. Good question. So, um, Olivia, um, we are going to eventually look at your 12th grade year. Um, obviously, you're totally right. We're not going to have your, your grades for, for senior year right now. Um, but that's just the kind of transcript that we look for as the 10 through 12. And so basically, we review your um, 10th and 11th grades um, up to the point in which we receive um, the new transcripts. So we'll receive like your first semester's transcripts, second semester, and then we'll receive your second semester transcripts um, uh, when you complete your second semester. Um, in terms of how that impacts your scholarship, um, your scholarship can only go up. So if for some reason you, you know, your grades, yeah, struggle um, uh, and your GPA drops, we're not going to drop your scholarship um, if that was a concern. Um, I'm taking ECT this weekend. Can I spend that application? Yeah, definitely. So getting a couple questions about like, can I finish this later? This is more so for us to just kind of show you how the application works. You can absolutely complete the application later, no problem. And the waiver code is community. Yep. And yes, you can just put the community into the test box about the essay. That's great. Um, Nina, yeah, go ahead and just submit whatever transcript you have right now. If for some reason it's not the one that we need, we'll reach out to you and let you know. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're putting in uh, our parents. I've attended three high schools. Do I put the one I'm graduating from? Yes, put the one you're graduating from. Um, they should be able to gain access to your other school's transcripts. Um, so just go ahead and put the one that you have right now and then potentially reach out to your counselor to make sure that we have all the, the grades that we need from all your schools. If she doesn't have it, she or he doesn't have it. You are welcome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so um, if you guys are doing your, your uh, application, I want you to pause real quick. Um, so everybody, there's no way for me to know if you're pausing and looking at me, but I'm imagining like you guys looking up and making eye contact with me. Um, so you're gonna reach a spot that has these four cornerstones. So Christ, um, scholarship, community. Um, and then it's gonna ask you, um, can you scroll down a little bit, Lauren? Yeah, just keep scrolling. So um, this here, you're gonna say, I agree to these four cornerstones. And so it's laying those four cornerstones out that I kind of already explained. And then it's gonna ask you about if you feel comfortable about attending chapel three times a week, uh, the Bible requirement, the service requirement, and our student code of conduct. So um, if you um, are feeling unsure about any of those things, um, please, thank you for that eye contact, I love that. Um, please uh, reach out to me and I'd love to connect with you and um, walk through, yeah, just maybe what you're still feeling unsure about. Um, if you do mark unsure, we're not gonna be able to push your application through tonight, um, but we want you to feel clarity about all of those things. And so that's why we have that section because um, we are, yeah, again, not, um, we want you to have all the information you need coming into APU and kind of just what the expectations are. And so um, if you have questions about that, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, but if you feel good about all those things, go ahead and mark definitely and it'll roll your application through. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, and this is kind of the student code of conduct. Uh-huh, let's see. Abigail, yeah, you definitely can. So you can submit the application now and then reach out to your um, admissions counselor and let them know, hey, like ACT scores, here they are. I will see my score. Um, if I say this for college course, I can fill out that information if you like be able to see my score on AP test or is it something I submit separately? Um, you'll need to submit that separately. Is this application binding right now? Good question, Elizabeth. No, it is not. So if you guys are applying right now, um, that is such a great question. It is not binding whatsoever. This is just our, um, just, yeah, wanted to give you guys an opportunity to show you how to get this application done. You guys are more than welcome to complete it later. And if and when you do complete it, um, there is nothing binding about it. Just going to give you an admissions decision to say you're welcome at AP if you want to come, but no binding um, whatsoever. How long is chapel for? Jacqueline says, yeah, chapel is going to be about an hour. So um, we offer seven, um, six to seven different chapels each week um, with a variety of different chapel styles. And we don't schedule our chapels during class time. So um, if you're worried about integrating that into your class time, um, it will be integrated for you. Awesome. Sorry, Jasmine, I'm not sure it does the code waiver. The fee too. Yes, it does waive the fee. Awesome. I can catch what you said about the GPA. Would I put my current even under? Yeah, go ahead and put that in, Annie, and then um, we will we will follow up with you. You want a transcript with nine eleven grades, basically, and you can eventually say twelfth grade. Yeah. So. Um, just download your unofficial transcript the way it is now, and then we will um, we'll keep continuing to ask for your updated transcripts as the year progresses. How long do decisions come out on estimate? Yeah, so usually about one to two weeks is about how long um, our admissions decision takes. Sorry, I hope I'm not missing your questions. Trying to scan it. Does a PDF scan of the unofficial transcript work? Yep, that's perfect.
Uh, David Cruz, just saw yours. Um, unfortunately, you're not able to access the application because it says we already have an account. Curious if you've, you've built um, an account already or started an application. If you haven't, and that is like just super strange, super weird, um, feel free to reach out to our IMT and they should be able to help you reset that password if something's wrong with that. And you can, so we put it, oh, let's see. Oh, but now you're asking me about AP tests. So I'm assuming the application went through. But maybe it didn't. If it didn't, let me know. Which person? Yes, if I'm taking an AP class now. Um, yes, if you're taking an AP class now, you can say that you're going to take some college coursework. We're really just trying to get a gauge of like what college classes you might be bringing in, but um, you can clarify all these things throughout the year with your admissions representative. That's great. Awesome. Okay. So, um, we, um, are we able to send the trustees scholarship? Yes. You will be able to submit that after this application. Um, do we get assigned community service or do we choose? Um, so yeah, not, um, I'm going to answer just a few more of these questions and then, um, probably, um, yeah, let's see. Okay. So, um, Yes. So do you get assigned community service? So the answer to that is um, you don't get assigned community service. Um, you might have some service learning components in your classes, um, but a lot of your service learning you're going to seek out kind of on your own. But like I said, there is an office dedicated to service learning on our campus that you'll have access to as a student. And so um, there are going to be a lot of opportunities for you to, to participate in service. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna answer just probably two more questions. Um, and if you don't get your question answered and maybe you're still feeling confused about the application, um, yeah, feel free to reach out to our um, admissions email and or my email. I'd love to connect with all of you. Um, so let's see. Okay. Do we require letters of recommendation? Um, we do for something like nursing, as well as our trustees application, but for our general application, we're not requiring um, letters of recommendation. Um, there's my email. And then Lauren, could you throw up the admissions email as well? Boom, money. Yeah, um, so before we keep asking questions, I want y'all to just copy paste that into like a note on your laptop or take a picture of it or whatever works best for you. And um, that's my email and that is the admissions general email as well. So um, if you have any questions um, about anything, would love to, to connect with you guys. So um, let's see. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, Lauren. Um, well, that kind of concludes our event. Hopefully you guys got your application started. Hopefully you learned something new about APU. Um, wish I could see your guys' faces um, and just get to talk to you guys, but so glad that you were able to um, spend the evening with us and hope you guys are able to come onto our campus soon, uh, take a tour. I would really recommend that um, just for any school that you're applying to. We know that this is just a crazy season that you guys are entering into trying to decide what this next step of your life is going to look like. And so we just want to walk with you guys through that. Um, and yeah, would recommend that you go to all those campuses if you can and, and check them out and see if it feels like somewhere where you could belong. And hopefully um, you feel that at our campus. So um, that is all I've got. But um, again, please feel free to reach out to either of those emails after this event if you have questions and hope you guys have a great night.